In our lab at the Weizmann Institute of Science in Israel, we look at the world and try to quantify what's in it. We ask ourselves, what do we have in terms of living mass? How much mass do we have of uh, plants versus bacteria, of animals versus fungi? And try to find what weighs the most. This is what we were started with. And then we came up with the question, the living world is something that is relatively constant in terms of overall mass, even somewhat decreasing because of all sorts of things we humanity are doing to the planet. But at the same time, we know that there's something else happening on the planet, and that is us, humanity, adding things that we build and create and produce. This can also be called anthropogenic mass in contrast to the living world, which is, consists of biomass. And we know that this anthropogenic mass, the things that we, humanity, produce, like roads, like cars, like phones, is something that accumulates rapidly, while, while the biomass is relatively constant. And I was taught when I was in school that when you have one thing that is relatively constant and one that is rapidly increasing, at some point they would intersect. And at this point in time, there will be on the planet Earth more things that are human-made than all the living things combined. And we were curious about when would that time occur. And the answer that we found is that this is happening at the year 2020, meaning right now. In order to do our study, we had to collect a lot of information because you need to know the mass of all living things, no matter where they are, in the ocean, on land, in the deserts, or in the forest. And we also needed to know about all the things that humanity produced, meaning the cement and the bricks and the cell phones and the cars and all the plastic. For that, luckily, we could build on many, many years of the community collecting information. People sometimes ask me, how is it important to realize the fact that we have more mass that humanity has produced on Earth starting 2020 than all the living things on Earth. So I think it's important to clarify, it's not that something magical happens and at this transition point the whole world changes immediately. It's a gradual process that is happening on the face of the Earth. We really transformed the situation from human impacts and human production being tiny to human artifacts and mass being equal and very soon much more than all the living things on Earth. I think even just realizing the fact that we are at this point where humanity is so such a large uh, effector and such a large force in shaping the, planet, the, the face of the Earth already tells us something about our place and our responsibility and each one could consider what kind of decisions they could do. It might be about the size of the house they're building, or how much consumption are they doing, how much they're trying to reuse things, and how much are they spending the money in a way that creates more and more artifacts, or try to think how to do it in a way that uses the natural resources more sparingly and tries to conserve as much as possible. And so even though none of us could solve the problem by themselves, I think together both the realization and the action that could come from such a realization could make a difference.